All right. Hello, everybody. Um, this is, um, I'm doing, a, this is a, a video on uh, how to um, kind of quiet down your banjo. <clears throat> I know we've been through lessons one, two, and three on uh, how to play two-finger banjo. And so um, this is not lesson four. Uh, but, um, I probably should have done this earlier because, um, quieting your banjo down, you may not have to or need to, but if you do, because maybe you live in an apartment or, you know, close to people and maybe, or maybe you just don't want to be heard too much playing it because until you learn how to play it, uh, because for those folks in your household, they might like to listen to the banjo and hear it, but uh, maybe after you learn to play it. So uh, I just thought I'd do this video to uh, show you how to quieten your banjo down. And um, so here we go. Uh, so anyway, what we're going to do here is I've got a banjo right here. I'll show you. We're going to first start with the banjo mute. This is one. This is one way to do it. Um, this is a banjo mute. Uh, let me get it up there where you can see it. Right there. It's a banjo mute. You can buy these things. It's just a bent piece of metal. You can make you one, actually, without a whole lot of problem. I bought this one. So, and, uh, <clears throat> so what you do with this, well, first, let me show you. All right, right here is a straight bridge. A straight bridge is what you'll need for this mute to work. And probably, I'm going to go out on a limb and say 90% of the banjos have a straight bridge. Okay, the reason why I'm showing you that, you need a straight bridge like that. And that way, see how that slides on there? Okay. I'll just show you that. We're going to come back to this banjo because I want you to see the difference that it makes. But I want to show you a banjo that this won't work on. And that is right here's a banjo with a compensated bridge. See how it's, the back of it is sticking out a little bit? This won't slide on there without a lot of difficulty and the pressure that you put on there, you can knock your bridge out of, uh, out of tuning. So I'll go into bridges, but that's not what this lesson is about. This lesson is about muting your banjo, but that's the difference between a compensated bridge and a straight bridge. So now I have used this mute in videos where I think a hem might sound better played softer. So you can also use it as a playing tool also. Not just a mute to quiet your banjo down, but just, uh, well, I'll show you for instance, but let me go ahead and put this, well, I'll tell you what, let me let you hear what this banjo sounds like. I'll just go ahead and put this down there. Let me go ahead and uh, let you hear what this banjo sounds like. Sounds like unmuted, okay? Without that mute on it.
Okay. That's what it sounds like. Unmuted. Now, let's slide the mute on. Just like that. And whenever you put it on, be sure it's not touching your strings. The top of it's not touching your strings. So now listen to the difference. Hear that? That's how quiet that got. hymn was called um, Farther On. It is better farther on and I actually used a mute when I did that hymn. So uh, that's the difference in the way that sounds. Okay. Now I'm going to lift you back up here a minute, a second, two, try to move right along here. Uh, okay. Now that's one way to mute this banjo. Now, let me show you another way to move mute this banjo. If you don't have a mute, just a regular old dish towel or hand towel. Okay? Now, I'm going to bring this down here where you can see it. Now, this banjo, this is called a dowel stick. For those of you that don't, you know, that don't know much about banjos yet, that's a dial stick. Take this towel and you put in behind this dial stick. See that? And then I, you can push it all the way back like that. Now let you hear the difference well <laughs> all right i'll let you hear the difference with that and then i'll let you hear it without it all right <laughs> show you something that's for an even quieter sound you can see here I can hold on to everything for a more quieter sound you can actually bend this towel up one more time where it's more like three layers see we did that on two but on three layers Okay, and then put it in there and watch the difference. A little tighter. Okay, now listen to the difference that that makes. It's even quieter. idea so that's a way you can mute your banjo if you don't have a mute or if you have a mute and a straight bridge now let me show you I'll bring this back up now I'll show you that's the tail so I'll put this banjo down and now I will get the banjo Another thing is, <clears throat> let me say this, <clears throat> for also, for you folks that have this on your banjo, a resonator, it's on the back of your banjo, so you can see where the neck goes. Here's your neck coming out, and that's on the back of your banjo. For resonator banjos, then uh, your resonator banjos, 
you're gonna have to you're gonna have to use this banjo mute. Like I said, if you have a straight bridge. But I'll show you also a trick if you got a resonated banjo and a compensated bridge. Um, um, but right here is, you know, you've seen them, the resonator banjos. So if you got that, because you can't get in there to put a towel or... Now, some resonators are easy to take off. You might be able to take it off and put a towel in there, you know, and then put it back on. But for maybe a quicker way to do it, this is why you'd want to use your mute or... I'll show you this right here. Now, take off that uh, right here. Okay, now, <clears throat> on this banjo, like I said, you got the compensate bridge, so we can't mute it that way. But now on this one, instead of a... Uh, dial stick it's got a coordinator rod a lot of these banjos will have two coordinator rods this one here has got one um, this one here and what you would do is you'd slide your towel i'll show you here in a minute let me uh get my picks on here and this is just different ways to try to quiet your banjo down while you're practicing. Say maybe the family don't want to hear it. Uh, I'm very, very fortunate. I have a wife that loves the sound of the banjo. So for me, it's not an issue other than if I'm wanting to quiet a hymn down. Uh, if I'm wanting to quiet a hymn down, then the mute can be quite a nice little tool Give your banjo that little bit of, you know. But anyway, here's this banjo now, and uh, you can hear it. It's a loud banjo. Okay, it gives you an idea of what it sounds like without the towel. Now, I will put this towel in here and because the coordinator rod's a lot further away from the head of the dowel stick, I'm gonna have to roll this towel up. Like I said, just you take your towel and just adjust it in different ways that it'll work for you. You can, like I said, you can make the towel tighter from the head, either the dial stick or coordinator rod, make it a little tighter, it'll even be muted more, or you can make it a little looser just to soften it a little bit. But anyway, this towel is not very tight fitting, so it's probably so. I'll tell you what I'll do. So in this case, I need to make an adjustment here. So I'll just do this and then maybe fold this just one time and like that just one time it gives us three layers again instead of just a two and then roll it up as you can see it's going to be thicker like that that's much thicker so now we put this just like that put it behind that stick okay now let's see what she sounds like let me, well, let me get my picks on again like i said some of you guys and another thing if you don't use picks your banjo will also be softer sounding uh but i like picks and if if you're going to use picks you want to practice with picks on if you're not going to use picks well of course you don't want to practice with them on but anyway, so now listen to the difference.
there's that. Okay, so you get the idea. There's that. So that's that one way to mute this banjo. Now, <clears throat> another trick that let's say, let's say you've got a compensated bridge, and then let's say that you've got a resonator on the back. So you can't use a towel on the back unless you take the resonator off. And you can't use a mute on the compensated bridge. So here's another little trick. Just take a handkerchief. In this case, it's uh, it's just a towel that I wipe my banjos down with when I'm done playing. And you can simply put this in between here. And another thing I'll add. Maybe if you're new to the banjo, you might not actually know what I'm talking about. But if some of you guys have got experience with banjos, uh, <clears throat> it's also, <clears throat> if you put it on there a little lighter or heavier, there again, it's your own adjustment that you want to make to your banjo. Uh, you can put it on there and it will get rid of sometimes if you have very low humidity you'll get a lot of bad overtones. Here in West Virginia, our humidity fluctuates up and down quite a bit. And so uh, you can use this to get rid of some of them overtones on banjos that tend to, normally your more ping, your louder banjos tend to have more overtones to them. But now, so listen to this, it's not bad. That, that, that quieted down quite a bit. Like I said, you can put it a little bit tighter, but now you got to watch that when you push against that bridge and you and, and say you put it a little tighter, uh, you don't want to knock your bridge out of adjustment. I'll do a video on how to get your bridges, the annul, annotation, annotation right on your banjo, and um, I'll do a video on that. But anyway, if you knock that out, it can be easily put back in if you know how to put it back in. But, you know, it can also be aggravating. So you don't want to really knock that bridge or move it around. And uh, also it depends on the head of your banjo. Like this one's kind of slicker. If you got a clear head, but now if you got one of them frosted heads that has a little bit of grit to it, it's a lot harder for your banjo to get out, of, or for your bridge to be at, get out of place. But with a smoother head, it wouldn't take much to slide that bridge. So you just got to be careful with that. So anyway, <clears throat> there's the three ways that I know to mute your banjo. Now, that being said, uh, let me put this over here. That being said, uh, they... Um, like, uh, for instance, this here is not the only style mute. I have seen other mutes, but this is the one I'm familiar with right there. And so you can get these online. Different makers make them. I think I got that from, I think that one there came from Banjo, Ben Clark uh, Banjo Store. I got that one from so anyway, I hope that this will help you because some of y'all's may be a little reluctant because maybe for whatever reason, you know, the banjo is a very loud instrument, if not one of the loudest stringed instruments out there. Uh, but for you people that for whatever reason you need it to be a little quieter and you might be a little reluctant on taking on the banjo because of the loudness of it, just remember, you you can mute these things down and uh, get them get them lower tone. That that's three ways I know how to do it. And um, so anyway, uh, lesson four is going to be coming real soon. Uh, this is just a kind of an in between the thing, an in between type lesson that uh, I just thought I ought to share with you in case you need to. You know, you may have a a baby in the house that's taking a nap you don't want to wake or something like that so if you're in another room or something with a muted 
banjo or whatever. That way you don't wake the baby. Just whatever the reason may be, you know, you get you get the idea anyway. But uh, anyway, uh, thanks for viewing this video. And uh, I really appreciate y'all's out there. And um, I would always like to end with John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So God bless y'all and thank you.